Hello, hello, it's Jessica Brown here, and I'm back with proposition number 56. Yeah, still one, two, three more pages of propositions to get through. Um, but we'll get through, we'll get through it together. So, um, again, I'm just reading from the quick reference section of the voter registration information guide. Um, for more in-depth, detailed information of the quick references, of the propositions, there's pages and pages of information for each proposition to get a book like that. So together, you and I are going to get through this like this. So yeah, Proposition 56. Cigarette tax to fund health care, tobacco use, prevention, research, and law enforcement. Initiative, constitutional, amendment, and statute. Summary. Increases cigarette tax by $2 wow, per pack with equivalent increase on other tobacco products. I'm, I'm a smoker, so that's, yeah. I'm trying to quit, though. Anyways and electronic cigarettes containing nicotine. Physical impact, additional net state revenue of 1 billion to 1.4 billion in 2017-18 with potentially lower revenues in future years. Revenues would be used primarily to augment spending on health care for low-income Californians. That hurts. <laughs> What's your vote means? Yes on this measure means state excise tax on cigarettes would increase by two dollars per pack from 87 cents to 287 hey state excise yeah that's a good that that's the motivation to quit right there <laughs> state excise tax on other tobacco products would increase by a similar amount am i even saying this right state excise tax would also would be applied to electronic cigarettes. Revenue from these higher taxes would be used for par for many purposes, but primarily to augment spending on health care for low-income Californians. It's a hard argument. <laughs> no, a no vote on this measure means no changes would be made to existing state taxes on cigarettes or other tobacco products and electronic cigarettes. Arguments, pro. Tobacco-related health care costs California taxpayers $3.5 billion annually, even if you don't smoke. Proposition 56 works like a user fee taxing to tobacco to help pay for smoking prevention in health care. Very effective. So, smokers pay their fair share for their costs. American Cancer Society... Cancer Action Network sponsored Proposition 56 to prevent kids from smoking and save lives. Con. Follow the 56 money. This 1.6 billion tax increase gives 1 billion to health insurance companies and special interests. 56 cheat schools out of 600 million a year by circumventing a <laughs> minimum school funding guarantee. Only 13% of the money helps smokers or prevents kids from starting. No one 56. Well, damn. Anyways, for yes on 56, you would go to yes, um, yes on 56.org. If you're against 56, you would go to www.noonproposition56.com. Again, that was just a quick summary. You want more information, check out the book. It was free in the mail, November 8th. 8 p.m. is the last time to vote. Um, yep, yeah. city council elections, school board elections, presidential elections, I think Congress elections. Everything's up for grabs, y'all, and we need to be filling these seats with some good people that don't get us into this. All right? All right. Peace.